Hi, and welcome to Total Training for SQL Server 2005 Development. I'm Paul Nielsen, and I'm excited about SQL Server and thrilled to share SQL Server 2005 with you in this training. I built my first database application back in 1982 using DBase 2 running on CPM while I was in the U.S. Navy Submarine Service. Since then, I've focused on database design and optimization. Of all the database platforms I've used, SQL Server is by far my favorite, and I've had a blast exploring SQL Server's nooks and crannies. When you're programming SQL Server, you're working inside the box, and that's where you'll find the coolest code, the relational schemas, queries with joins and subqueries, sprocks, triggers, query execution plans, and indexes. You can run SQL Server as a simple back-end database or fully exploit all its power. If you want to work with data, then SQL Server is the right place to be, because SQL is the romance language of data. But SQL Server isn't only about data and code. PASS is the Professional Association for SQL Server. As the PASS Director of Global Community Development, I have the job of supporting about 100 chapters worldwide. I'd like to personally invite you to find out more about the PASS community and your local PASS chapter by visiting sqlpass.org. I really enjoy working with SQL Server, and my hope is that by watching this training, you'll be successful with SQL Server and have as much fun as I do. This training is divided into three parts. In part one, I'll introduce SQL Server and database concepts. From there, we'll walk through the select command and then wrap programmatic flow of control around the select command with stored procedures, user-defined functions, and triggers. Finally, we'll dig into some meaty subjects like indexing, transactions, and optimization strategies. SQL Server is actually a collection of services built around the database engine. In Lesson 1, we'll take a look at these services and become familiar with the landscape of SQL Server 2005. So come on, let's get started.